Hematopoiesis is the formation and development of blood cells. Blood cells, together with plasma, constitutes one of the basic tissue types of the human body. Whole blood is a fluid connective tissue. Hematopoiesis is often presented as a static diagram. Cell growth and differentiation is illustrated in a genealogical fashion. Chart animation visually demonstrates cell interaction and rapid regeneration. In an average adult, the hematopoietic system creates 200 billion new blood cells each day. Human blood cells can be found in three general locations. In the bone marrow, in tissues and organs, and in the circulatory system. Stem cells in the bone marrow are collectively known as the hematopoietic stem cell pool. Stem cells proliferate by mitosis. Daughter cells replenish the stem cell pool and proliferate into all types of blood cells. Each hematopoietic stem cell will undergo multiple mitotic cell divisions, thus amplifying the genome. The hematopoietic stem cell differentiates into the common myeloid and the common lymphoid progenitor cells. The common myeloid progenitor proliferates to become all cells of the myeloid lineage. Granulocytes and monocytes, erythrocytes, and megakaryocytes. The common lymphoid progenitor proliferates into all types of lymphocytes. The majority of lymphocytes leaving the bone marrow are passive. They will circulate until activated or migrate to lymphoid tissues where they proliferate. Only a few granular lymphocytes will enter the bloodstream as active cells. The polymorphonuclear and mononuclear cells of the myeloid series are essential to the innate immune system. These cells emerge from the bone marrow ready to mount an immediate immune response. They are morphologically distinctive and easy to recognize under the microscope. Their unique appearance is a consequence of their specialized role in the body's self-defense. Most lymphocytes, however, are morphologically indistinct. They basically all look alike. They are the cells of the adaptive immune system, which operates more discreetly. Their various molecular functions are visualized only indirectly. Exceptions include the plasma cell, a powerful humoral immune cell, and large granular lymphocytes, also known as natural killer cells. Many white blood cells are sequestered in tissues and organs. Neutrophils and other granulocytes adhere to vessel walls of the pulmonary circulation. This segregated population approximately equals what's found in peripheral blood. B cells leave the bone marrow and migrate to the spleen, where they differentiate into subtypes. B lymphocytes proliferate and mount a humoral immune response. T cells migrate to the thymus and also differentiate into several subtypes. T cells will also proliferate and mount a cell-mediated immune response. Well Daniel, was there anything else you wanted to say about hematopoiesis? Oh yes indeed Moira, we've only just begun, but let's stop here for now.